Today I rise to request an adjourn in memory of um, the late Susan Hammer of San Jose. Susan was the mayor of San Jose uh, in the 19, or late 1980s and 1990s, throughout the 1990s. She served previously to that as a member of the San Jose City Council. And uh, I served with Susan for 12 years um, as a city council member. Uh, she was born in Monrovia, uh, went to University of California, Berkeley, and worked with her husband, Phil, on her first political campaign was for John Kennedy. And then she got a job on the first Peace Corps staff. She returned to the hometown of, uh, her husband's hometown of San Jose and got involved in politics. Um, she was a progressive champion of women's rights and inclusiveness. Her visionary work and leadership in included pushing for diversity within the city's boards and commissions and a deep commitment to underserved communities. Some of her accomplishments included uh, creating a green line around San Jose to control sprawl expanding arts and celebrating culture. She passed a living wage ordinance while, while, the, while she was mayor in the 1990s and uh, created a housing program for low-income housing. Also, uh, a gang task force and opened uh, youth centers in San Jose. Uh, Susan had a good sense of humor and uh, as a council member working with her, I found her to be one of the most collegial, uh, understanding, and um, uh, collaborative mayor that I ever served with, and I served with four mayors. During her tenure, four of the city's uh, most complete, significant public buildings were commissioned. Uh, we have the San Jose Repertory Theater, which is now the Susan and Phil Hammer Theater. We, we completed the Mexican Heritage Plaza, a major cultural center in Northern California for Mex Mexican heritage. Uh, the SAP Center, that's our shark tank. And uh, probably most significantly, uh, the joint um, uh, library, they developed a joint library with San Jose State University and the city of San Jose which is one of the largest libraries in California now, the joint library between San Jose State and San Jose uh, City. Susan's leadership uh, laid a strong economic foundation also for the tech industry, uh, welcoming companies like Adobe and Cisco to San Jose. And she served after she left the mayorship of San Jose to the Board of Education appointed by Governor Gray Davis. She was a leader that was a strong, forceful, and compassionate person, uh, modeled her living as a life service to her community, and her legacy will be seen in San Jose for generations. She passed away at her home in company of her family and survived by her husband, Phil, children, Phil, Hallie, and Matt, and six grandchildren. And uh, we'd like to adjourn the Senate in her memory, the great mayor of San Jose, Susan Hammer, second woman elected mayor in San Jose, and uh, we'd like to have this, this meeting adjourned in her memory.